legal issues in America today. Hunter Biden's laptop, Hillary Clinton's emails, the Benghazi incident, the 94 crime bill, immigration at the border. Let's talk for a minute here. Let's talk about the real issues here in America, not just the emotional ones that captivate your feelings. Firearm violence is a preventable public health tragedy affecting communities across the United States. In 2021, 48,830 Americans died by firearms, an average of one death every 11 minutes. Over 26,328 Americans died by firearm suicide, 20,958 died by firearm homicide, 549 died by unintentional gun injury, and an estimated 1,000 Americans were fatally shot by law enforcement in addition. An average of more than 200 Americans visit the emergency department for non-fatal firearm injuries each day. For each firearm death, many more people are shot and survive their injuries, are shot at but not physically injured, or witness firearm violence. Many experience firearm violence in other ways, by living in impacted communities with high levels of violence, losing loved ones to firearm violence, or being threatened with a firearm. Others are fearful to walk in their neighborhoods, attend events, or send their child to school. In short, firearm violence is a public health epidemic that has lasting impacts on the health and well-being of everyone in this country. Overwhelming evidence shows that firearm ownership and access are associated with increased suicide, homicide, unintentional firearm deaths, and injuries. These injuries and deaths are preventable through evidence-based solutions. As of September 2023, 41.9% of adults in the United States have obesity. This includes 39.6% of adults who are obese, 31.6% who are overweight, and 7.7% who are severely obese. How big is the weight loss industry? Market data estimates that the total U.S. weight loss market reached new highs of $89.9 billion in 2023. The market is expected to grow another 4.3% to $93.8 billion in 2024. March 6, 2024. According to the CDC, 37.3 million people in the United States had diabetes in 2022, which is 11.3% of the population. Of those, 28.7 million have a diagnosed case of diabetes, and 8.6 million have undiagnosed diabetes. Diabetes impacts all social, economic, and ethnic backgrounds. 26.4 million people aged 65 years or older, 48.8%, have prediabetes. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, 37.9 million people in the United States lived in poverty in 2022, which is 11.5% of the population. This number is similar to 2021 and the poverty rate has generally been decreasing since 2010, when it was 15.1%. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the official poverty rate in the United States in 2022 was 11.5%, which means that 37.9 million people lived in poverty. This was the lowest poverty rate ever recorded. However, the supplemental poverty measure, SPM rate in 2022 was 12.4%, which is a 4.6 percentage point increase from 2021. The SPM child poverty rate also more than doubled in 2022, from five. Here's how many Americans are homeowners. According to the Federal Reserve, the homeownership rate in 2022 was 66.1%, up slightly from 64.9% in 2021. While this may seem like a substantial number of people who own property, it's three percentage points lower than the percentage of households who owned their own homes in 2004. Unsurprisingly, Homeowners are not distributed evenly among different age groups. Seniors aged 65 and over are far more likely to own their place compared with their younger counterparts. In fact, home ownership rates steadily climb with age, with those under 35 having by far the lowest rate of home ownership. This makes sense as older people have had more time to save and acquire the money, credit score, and income needed to qualify to buy a home. There are also racial disparities, with white Americans significantly more likely to own their properties compared with people of color. While the ownership rate among white Americans was 72.7% in 2021, the home ownership rate among black Americans was just 44%. Sadly, these disparities are largely caused by a legacy of racial discrimination, as well as by continued racial inequalities that persist to this day. Addressing climate change will strengthen the economy. Working to stop climate change can drive economic growth, while unchecked climate change is expected to have dire economic consequences. For example, Citibank estimates the cost of unchecked climate change at more than $40 trillion by 2060. Meanwhile, more than 4 million Americans now work in wind, solar, energy efficiency, and other clean energy jobs, far more than the 160,000 who work in the coal industry. 
and experts estimate that investing in revitalizing water infrastructure in the U.S. could generate 1.3 million more jobs. The elephant in the room is campaign finance. In 2020, nearly $14 billion was spent on federal election campaigns in the United States, making it the most expensive campaign in U.S. history, more than double what was spent in the 2016 election. I don't care what you call it, there needs to be a mental awakening in America. Is this how we make America great again? And who is Save America saving? Donald Trump, Save America accounted for the bulk of the payments, with 84% of the committee's spending going toward legal costs. Coupled with FEC data from 2022, AP's review found that Save America. Trump's presidential campaign and his other fundraising organizations have devoted $76.7 million to legal fees over the two years of February. Two, 2024, in honor of our great authoritarian leader, let's do the America First chant. USA, 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 USA.